Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and with me right now is the much anticipated Samsung Galaxy S4. And let me walk you through some of the device's new features. Of course, what pops up to you, or to me at least, is the new vibrant screen. It's a five inch screen, uh, the f one of the first few phones in the whole world that has a 1080p full HD display. If you look in front, that's a two megapixel camera over there. Let me zoom in for you. And in the back, a 13 megapixel camera. Inside this device, uh, two gigabytes of RAM, 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes of memory, and inside you can expand that up to 64 gigabytes. Now, there are two different processors that I know there's been a lot of talk about uh, an octa-core, an eight-core processor. Uh, this device comes in two variants, one with an octa-core processor, 1.6 gigahertz octa-core processor, and another with a 1.9 gigahertz uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Now, if you can see, Samsung uh, really is branding this phone as a life companion, a phone that you can uh, go through life with, and it's focusing on four different areas. Um, they call it the four pillars uh, which they base the design upon. Uh, one is fun, second is creating relationships, next is being able to do life's tasks, and then last is health and wellness. So let me just run over some of the new features of the phone with you based on those four different things. So um, interestingly enough, uh, this device uh, actually looks pretty much like the last Samsung Galaxy S3. But if you notice, the screen is much larger at, at five uh, inches diagonally. They've actually reduced the bevel and made the screen larger. Uh, it does look much, much better. And um, while it does have the same plasticky feel, uh, it's not as, um, it feels more sturdier in the hand uh, compared to the Samsung Galaxy uh, S3. I really, really like this um, aluminum bezel. I'm not really sure if this is aluminum or some kind of uh, plastic, but uh, I'm really digging uh, the construction and the build of this phone, uh, even though it's still the same plastic finish that we're, that we're used to. Uh, if you notice, TouchWiz has been revised ever so slightly. You dive into settings and it does look a little bit different. Uh, settings are now sorted by connections, things about the device. And of course, app settings are all here. This phone runs on a Android version 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Now let's take a look at some of the settings. Um, some of the new features of this phone really uh, is not what's on the outside, but what's on the inside. Let's take a look at camera. Now if you notice, a couple of, um, a couple of weeks back on TechRap, if you remember, we featured uh, the Samsung Galaxy camera, and it's actually borrowing some uh, design elements or some software elements from that. Uh, if you see, there's a new mode button. Let me turn this off. There you go. So there's a new mode button, and if you press that, you can actually select different features. But what you saw earlier was their new two cam view. It's called dual shot mode, and you can sh shoot videos and or photos using both your front facing camera and the main camera at the same time. Now this cool stamp option is one of the different overlays that you can have. Now let me just switch my camera around. So for example, you're shooting a scene. I'm in New York right now. For example, I'm in front of the Statue of Liberty and I'm shooting a scene and I want to place myself in the shot. I can actually use one of these cool overlays and shoot a picture of myself um, while taking the photo. Now there are different overlays that you can choose from. This is just one of the many examples. Now, there are other features here that um, I can talk you through in a bit, but it would be better if I, I had the phone out. Um, but um, I'll, I'll add all of those in the accompanying article that you can read on Rappler.com. Let me move on. Now, uh, Samsung is also hoping to feature on relationships, and um, they believe the world is much more global now. So they've added a couple of new features, for example, to their um, chat on application. Now, you can now make three-way video calls. You can use, again, two cameras at the same time. 
uh, you can share your screen or even share your annotations all um, from the chat on application, which is the default chat client built into uh, Samsung smartphones. Now, another interesting feature, which is probably even more exciting, is group play. Now, I can't demo that here because I don't have anyone to play with, but basically it works using both NFC, or Near Field Communication Technology, and um, the built-in Wi-Fi of the device. And what you can do is play games at the same time with your friends. Right now, there are two games that you can use, Asphalt 7 from Gameloft and Gun Brothers 2. Uh, and it doesn't require any data connectivity, no wireless access point, and you can be able to play games together. You can also, um, using uh, another application, listen to music together, uh, so you can play all this, this, the same song all at the same time and hear a stereo experience. Now, this is probably one of the most exciting features. They call it uh, Hover. Uh, and this is Flipboard, one of the third-party apps that uses the new AirView technology. Look at this Twitter app. Now, I, all I need to do is hover or put my finger over Twitter. Oh, that's loading right now. So let me do it over the technology section. There you go. And without touching the device, it'll give me the last four, the last three available article. So I can just hover, pick an article like this one on the Samsung Galaxy S4 and uh, jump to it. Do the same here on Twitter. Again, I can see the different stuff and then click into the article I want without touching the screen. This is perfect if, for example, I'm having breakfast or having a meal and I don't want to ruin my screen by, by touching it. That al gestures also work with the browser. So for example, let's go to Let's go to Rappler.com. You can now scroll up and down using hand gestures. Of course, as you can see, it's not as quick or as responsive as you want it to, to be. But definitely, it's a start. And probably with a little bit of getting used to, um, these gestures will come in really, really handy. Now, you can also use gestures when um, scrolling through pictures. So let's open my gallery over here. Okay. Again, you can scroll through images by just flipping through them. It's a wonderful experience. Again, this is perfect. I can imagine if you're eating some french fries and you don't want to smudge your screen, but you want to take a look at some emails or some pictures. Now, um, the preview feature also works with email. So for example, I have um, some new email over here. All I have to do is hover over one, and I can see um, what's inside the email without getting into that email. So depending on the application, the speed um, increases. Obviously, with the built-in Samsung op applications like this email app, things are, it works much faster. So that's hover, and those are air gestures, two really great features of this phone. Now, another interesting feature is um, that they built is has to do with health and wellness. Now, this phone has a built-in pedometer, and it can automatically calculate how much steps you've taken, how much um, stairs you've climbed, and it can graph that over time and give you some stats. It works with an app called S Health. And right now, it, can, it tells me that my surroundings are poor. It, tell, it can measure um, different surroundings. You can input uh, data and, and then uh, what kind of food you've eaten, and it can compute how many calories you've, you've um, intaked, uh, you've, you've um, had for the day. And then based on how much you've, you've done, you can actually check how much calories that you've burned. And it comes with an optional accessory, an armband. So when you go running and you leave your phone behind, you can um, have the phone, have the armband measure that data and take it for you. So, specifics on region by region. So, these are some of uh, the features. Of course, that's another, uh, that's another feature. Um, this device, uh, they haven't told us when it's going to be available yet and for how much, but we expect it to be available really, really soon uh, in the 
So that is our hands-on review with the Samsung Galaxy S4.